Hey guys, this is Martin again from Bug Bounty Service. And today I'm going to show you another vulnerability. This time it's remote code execution or RCE. This is basically one of the worst vulnerabilities to encounter um, or one of the best from a Bug Bounty Hunter perspective. Um, this means remote code execution so you can run your own code on the, on the target server. Um, this often leads to a full compromise and it's the most one of the most devastating vulnerabilities out there. So let's get started. So if I go here, um, you probably remember if you watch my previous videos, there is like a vaccine proof functionality and I'm going to um, upload a JPEG file once again. Um, I call it proof, right? Proof JPEG, upload it from a normal user's perspective. And once it's uploaded, I'm going over to Burp and check what actually happened. So let's go to the proxy history. So you can see I did the post request here and I, I sent this over and nothing spectacular at this point. But what I immediately notice is afterwards, there is like a check being made. So which is something called um, the check proof PHP. So I already know the application is running PHP, right? And then this kind of proof stuff means like, well, the application is reading something from this uploaded file. So it's reading something. So if it's reading something, maybe I'm able to introduce some code and then it will read it and it will execute it, right? So this is the concept behind it. Um, there is a bit more to it. So you would need to figure out which PHP version is running. Is this PHP version vulnerable to insecure deserialization that's a vulnerability class and i already checked this and yes it is vulnerable to insecure deserialization so basically what you're going to do is you can use a tool here over on on github uh, which is called php ggc um, which is generic got gadget chains when you don't have access to the source code, but there you suspect there is an, an, an insecure deserialization happening so that you may be able to embed some code in your picture and then you want it to deserialize at the other end so you can put systems commands in and stuff like that. This is basically generating the code for you, right? This is a nice little command line tool for Linux. And I've prepared this here already. So it's basically taking my, my input picture here, which is the proof.jpg. It will create an output picture called out.jpg. And then it will use the monolog RC2 and it will issue a system command called ID. That could be an LS, that could be any Linux command, right? This could be a cat, ETT, etc, pass WD or whatever. So we want to keep it simple. You can like really take this to the next level and you can spawn a re reverse shell or something like this but this is not something we are we are planning to do right now so i'm just running this and then it's basically um generating the out.jpg file for me so what i'm doing now is i'm going back to my application and i resubmit this um effectively what i'm going to do is i'm uploading as t at t.com and then i'm this time i'm uploading this file with, which has basically malicious system code embedded right so i'm uploading this and let's see if it takes it or if there is any restrictions most likely not and yeah it successfully uploaded it so i can see this here this was the post request and it's garbled here because everything is basically serialized right and um then i go to the check proof and i actually move this forward move this over to repeater and then what i can do is i can introduce like um something called the far command right here and then i can run this so basically this instructs the application to execute if it's vulnerable to execute the code which is embedded here in that jpeg file so let me run this and it takes a little bit because it's running a, a system command but here you go I have remote code execution. So basically I issued the ID command. If you remember from earlier, when we generated the payload, it was just the ID command. I could have done an LS command or PWD or whatever Linux command, right? But it executed this for me and I got basically the output, which is the same if you would do this on, on a Linux box. Like if I just go over here and hit ID, this is basically the same, the same thing. 
And this is remote code execution, one of the most dangerous vulnerabilities. And I hope you liked the video and stay tuned for the next one. Thank you very much.